That would be all it is, is that you get the officer of the board, essentially, and then you just not have to drive the entire way. They keep us like forty minutes on the train, and that's what thirty minutes from there to yeah. the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're not saving a ton of time. Really, it's just like you say, the flexibility, like to be able to leave whenever you want to. Is this still this way? Yeah. I get motion sickness. Oh, really? And I thought it was going backwards. Oh no, we could have switched, but yeah, no, it, yeah, but it was. Uh, I never used to be like that, yeah, because I was like, I know that's how much like the pain is. I went on like the swing, there's the swing. Yeah. And then, yeah, if I'm in a car, which is my phone. Yeah. And then this morning when I was reading, yeah. I think I just need to get used to it. This guy here is always on my phone. Well, I think this too, like, it, like I said, it's actually when it's too long on the waterfront, it is. It's like a holy joint like this. It's like a holy joint like this. No, that's okay. Yeah, I'm sure like a couple weeks into it I won't. But yeah, this morning I just took the ring down and I went at my ring. Yeah, you will find some new shit to see. You should try some new stuff. A lot of swing. Yeah. I find some new stuff. Yeah. 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 Huh? Did you not like the new Yeah, it's a little bit but then once I sort of started, like, I bring a book and shit like that, and, um, or, like, listen to a podcast or something like that, then it's, it's not, it's kind of annoying in the morning. I don't mind it so much on the way home, because then it's kind of like a... Like a calm yeah. down kind of thing, like you don't have to worry about work or your service. That's actually kind of true. Because yeah. that was like I said, you find drive in the morning because it's yeah. quick or whatever. Yeah. But coming home, I hate it. Whereas this, it's like getting in. I was like, okay, I just want to get there yeah. and start my day. Yeah. But coming home, it's like, oh, I don't have any responsibility. I'm yeah. done work for the day. Yeah. Like for the first while, especially because I used to be in so early. Um, for the first while, I was really stressing about stuff going wrong or like something coming up. Rob is on. How long has he been there? Uh, two years. Okay. Like he's a nice guy. Because he's the only like to me he's the only one or he's the only one that um, I should say I'm the only one that gets affected by how useless he is. It doesn't affect the market and stuff like that. So I tell them all the time. And like I can't give him any extra work or anything like that because he can't handle it. Um, like he was there until what? Three o'clock. Three fifteen today. He gets in at like six. But he's there that late every day because it takes that long to do. What does he do? Six hours work. He has trait supervision, but he does sort of the like I'm senior trait supervisor. He's just regular trait supervision. He does like sort of like the CC stuff. Um, he doesn't, he's not like, like, I'm the first point of contact with these guys with no question. Yeah. They don't go to him because they know he's not going to be able to help, so. What's like the number one question people ask you? Like, do you do Usually it's like how to do something like that, but, like, but it's like random things. But they get better because, like I said, they've gotten to understand the system a little bit better, but it's usually something that they haven't dealt with before, that they only deal with occasionally, so they forget how to do it. But I put together like a little cheat sheet of like notes and like things like only come up sporadically, so at least I have that to rely on. Like, yeah. don't ask me if I I don't know, but let me check quickly and then I'll like check my thing. I still have the help desk, so if there's something that we really don't understand, I'm just like, oh, yeah, go to the help desk. Because at least when Mary was there, I remember I, we could ask her, get someone to ask her. Yeah. Because like, Hang would ask me, and I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't actually know it as well as as I thought she did. Like when like when she was here. And I mean to be fair, it's probably been a while since she dealt with it, but like I'd ask her something like, Oh, do you remember when in Finesse you could do this, this, and this? And she'd be like, Oh shit, some answers. She clearly didn't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. It's crazy that she keeps getting kind of gas. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like Bruce takes her word for gospel. Like when she goes and looks at things, like on a, cause like she's doing it like an audit perspective. She's not auditing us, but it's a true um, and she always makes comments about like things that can be done differently or they're not being done quickly enough. Maple Meadows. Maple Meadows. Maple Meadows. Maple She drives more than I know. She goes to Maple Always got to know. Maple Meadows. Maple Ridge. Because I was just gonna say, Pagan's the only one. 
Like, why don't you just stick her back up potty and I can just talk the whole time and then I won't have to deal with her. You want to go see her today, but she's under desk. Oh, yeah. She thought she was super nice. Yeah, kind of nice. You don't have to, like, rely on her to get anything done. She's yeah, she's fine. What does she do? I can't remember um, what she did. She's doing like the IV stuff. Yes, remember what Anne and Hudson used to do that? Yeah. Um, so Patty Ann's doing that now, and then she does like all the Broadridge data file okay. stuff. Yeah. And then I think she might do some some like business analysis stuff on top of that, but I'm not really sure what exactly. Why does he think of that? 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 Why does he think of so where is IT going to go? Is that whole thing's opening up? I don't know what they'll do. I don't know if they're going to move right. Which is one person, right? It's just one guy. He takes up the whole office in different ways. Like, he'll have, like, different, like, terminals set up and everything, but he doesn't need that much space. And he's good, though? Like, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's like, he's Irish, so he's really, like, point to the point, and, like, he blunt. Um, but he's not a dick, though. So, like, he, he's nice, and, like, if you ask him a question, like, a genuine question, he's really helpful. It's like, oh, he gets people, like, somewhat, I can't remember who it was. Um, he's really helpful. It's like, oh, he just gets people, like, somewhat, I can't remember who it was. Someone sent him a link to a bunch of laptops on like Best Buy or whatever, and they're like, I'm trying to get a new laptop, which one should I get? I don't know. What do you want? Like, oh, it depends what you need and all that kind of stuff for. Yeah, you're like, well, I need this and I want this. And it's like, can you just like look through them and tell me which one's the best? He's like, no. The problem with Anthony is that he, I literally would have him done my new job and I could call him and he would help me. He'd yeah. Do it. Yeah. He was mad, he wouldn't help Like, yeah. he was always. So helpful. And then yeah. he'd call me and I'd say, like, oh, you can figure it out? Like, he's yeah. so good. Yeah. Yeah. But. No, yeah, Colin's really good. Um, I'm still going to call him Callum. <laughs> I've never heard of him. Because it's spelled C-O-L-M. So most people call him Colm. Oh. U-M? No, C-O-L-M. C-O-L-M? Yeah. Oh. But it's pronounced Colm. Does that Cole guy still work there? Cole. Hey, glasses, he's an assistant. Um, I think he worked for Aaron. I don't know, actually. I'm sure. Because I remember Aaron called that down. Aaron No, 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 Aaron. Oh, yeah. He's very cocky. Yeah. Very he, yeah, he got let go. Oh, was it like a settlement or something? Like, didn't he yeah, he was. What do you want to do now? I'm trying to remember. He, well, he was lying about something. I remember Mark caught him in a lie. Like, they'd had it documented and everything like that. And then. I don't remember now. Some trading thing. It was some trading thing. Yeah. But yeah, that's right. I remember him now. But no, he would be getting these gone too. Um, that's right, because didn't he... I'm pretty sure Cole came over after Aaron, so I think Cole had come over. He was, he was only with us for a short time before the ending. They both got let go at the same time. Aaron went to some other firm. Yeah, yeah. He still has his account with Tom. So like, you still see his name come up on, like, trade yeah. for one or something like that. Do you have your account anyway? Yeah, I have one, but I don't really, I don't really interest. I don't know what I want to do with mine. Obviously, I don't want to keep them with the advisor. Like, yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. Um, sheets. And it's like, okay, maybe I'll just do it to RBC Direct Invest and do it myself, but... Then you have to do the whole external account thing. Like, the uh, statements and all that stuff. But that's like, if I transfer it here, who do I transfer it under? I don't know. Does Mark still have an I think so. I wonder if she'd like me. Just, she, I, just like, I like everything I have in my account. Yeah. She is. He, you know, he goes through somebody, I can't remember who. He doesn't do it on my daughter. 
Yeah. To be honest, I don't mind paying. What, is, what do they charge employees for per trade? 55 total. So 40 commission and then 15 chicken. Yeah. See, like, I wouldn't have to. Because RBC, you didn't have to pay. It was yeah. you have three days every three months. Right. Free trading. So. Right. Oh, for like three days at a month, you trade for three days? Three days every three months. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. But right. yeah, we would wait. I'll hold on to it. And yeah. It wasn't that much to adjust to, but... Yeah, yeah. So going yeah. from that to having to pay like... $55 or yeah, it depends how actively you're doing it. Yeah, um, yeah they change it now like it's mandatory. The, at least the ticket charge anyway is mandatory. Some people still try and like, uh, cancel the commission so long. Like, I get the ticket yeah. but I think it's like, it was more because it was people that were like, yeah. like day trading your accounts. Uh, okay. Like they were going like crazy and they were not charging themselves anything. Like I think, yeah, if you're, yeah, doing, like, if you're doing under like, let's say, 10 trades a month or something like that, then yeah, I don't think it's going to be But there's some guys that were going like crazy. Two trades every like three months. Yeah. Maybe something so minimal. Yeah. Which I mean, just pay the $100, but... Yeah. Somewhere, and I think it's going to be like $300 each transfer, but I think we think it's 150 each. Right. That's right, I forgot you have to pay to transfer it. Yeah. yeah. There's no way I can get out of that one. Or just people definitely charge cash. Yeah. Do you have like your bank account too? Mm -hmm. yeah. still says staff. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I quit HSBC to go to Haywood and it took them almost three years to change it from a staff account. So I had free banking. I'm told that happens to me. Yeah. Well, I had, my dad had always worked at HSBC, so I had free banking all the way up until that point. And then they switched. I'm like, I'm not paying banking for paying for banking now. So then I took my account out and went to Coast Capital because okay. it's all free. So I was at Coast Capital, everything was free. And then World Bank, obviously, I switched there. Yeah. So that's the funny thing, because I would literally go back to Coast Capital. Yeah. Because, why, yeah. yeah, why would I pay? Yeah. You don't get anything no. different there. No. My yeah. mortgage isn't like them, so. Yeah. Yeah. No, everything I do, everything is free. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, because that's how I pay like my dad and my brother for all the things that we split up and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, because yeah. I never really use it that often, and then I've been using it more recently. And so <laughs> I know, I, I literally, I'm not even every day I've been looking at it. Has, yeah. It's usually have a change today because I want to just be able to obviously yeah. keep everything there. But. Well, I have, I also have some stuff at Tangerine. I'm pretty sure Tangerine has free e-transfers. Do they? Yeah, but they're... It's, it's all just e-banking, right? So it sort of depends what you need it for. Like if you, yeah. if you don't really need to go into a branch ever, then it would be fine. But they're not very helpful in terms of. Do you get like a pension and all that? Um, I didn't. I wasn't there long enough to have, and I didn't. I only at a certain point I was able to get and stuff like that. But yeah, no, I didn't have one where I had like I paid into it, obviously, yeah. but no, they didn't have like an actual. That's the one thing my brother my brother worked at HSBC as well and then he left there to go work in San City so he had to transfer his pension over and everything like that. But that's the one thing that I wish they would have was Honestly RBC, like I couldn't even imagine how much I put in like they yeah. So for my RSP, I would yeah. put in six percent of my salary yeah. and then they would match three percent. But then they also gave me three percent for the pension. Right. So that three percent was no matter what. So you're automatically twelve percent all together. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was like, I was eligible, you have to be there for six months. Right. Um, and then, yeah, I was eligible, so a year and a half. Uh, yeah. And it made a big difference. Yeah. So yeah, that does kind of suck. I know, if I, I wish I had sort of been, because I worked at HSBC when I was, like, 25, 26, so I didn't care about yeah. that kind of stuff at that point. Like, I wish I paid more attention to it at the time, because there probably was a lot of stuff I could have done to take advantage of that, but then at the same time, the bonuses they paid at the ages was super, like, well, what do we get paid? Okay, okay. that's the thing, Mark, when you go out on the phone, you know, phone is the money you take, but this is the thing. I feel like I always kind of got screwed that way because yeah. new accounts you never got like a new one. Then I, I, was, I quit. I yeah. came back contract. Yeah. Then I went and then all of a sudden for what two years we didn't get one. Then I yeah. came on Matt Lee. Then yeah. I came back and worked for Maya. Yeah. And then I went on Matt Lee. 
Yeah. Um, so yeah. are they? They've gotten a lot better. Okay. Yeah, because for a while they weren't paying any, and yeah. then they, um, for a couple of years, did it as you essentially got two weeks' salary. Okay. Yes. Better, but it was still. That's like, why I remember the Christmas one. Yeah. One year was you got two weeks' salary. Yeah, and then they did that for about. Probably four or five bonuses, so like two and a half, three years. Yeah. Um, and then the last two or three have been uh, <coughs> more like merit based. Yeah. Did they do a percentage of your salary, or what do they do? Um, the way it works now is they have they have like a bonus because before the problem was that they didn't have bonuses built into anything. It was always just like what was left over, what was excess. And then we went through that like downturn, and then they didn't have anything on hand. So now they've changed it where like they have a whole financial committee now, um, and they changed it now where they set aside X amount every quarter into a bonus pool. So I think each department gets a, a percentage of that bonus pool, and then um, so they so for someone like me coming in and yeah. hiring another person and hiring two new accounts. Yeah, except it's they get a lot in. Um, well, they structure it based on your title and your seniority, but I mean, I don't know what they would do with the seniority, but I'm sure that they would take that into consideration because, like, yeah, yeah, because it's not like you're coming in with no knowledge, you yeah. got previous so like right now, like my last bonus was almost exactly the same as it was when they started to go when things were still pretty good. So like it's it's more or less gotten back to I mean like I'm right higher than I was back then, so it still got some yeah. some um, room to make up, but it's way better than it used to be. Right. Things have changed. Yeah. It really felt like every time I was there, it's like, oh, no, let's do that, we're not getting one. Right. Or yeah. it was like the two weeks. Yeah. 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 Christmas the two week pay was such a. I mean, like it's better than nothing for yeah. sure. But like we would, we'd have like our. Um, uh, uh, assessments and all that kind of stuff and Mark would like give you your number or whatever and he's just like, hey, he's like, oh, he's like, I know, I know, it's not that great. Like, you know, he at least would be on the same page. Yeah. But, yeah, it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely gotten better. Yeah, wonderful. They probably wouldn't do anything for June because it probably would cut off at the right? No, they probably would. <laughs> oh, when, I, when I started at Haywood, I mean, to be fair, it was a while ago, but when I started at Haywood, I started in October, and they gave me a bonus mm -hmm. in I, I December. And I think they gave people a new account, or not new account, <laughs> compliance that came after me. Um, about like when you were when you a came small one, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I'm sure that they would give you like. I mean, it's hard to say because it's like you're not like a brand new hire. Yeah. But I'm sure. I'm sure they would give you something. <laughs> Do they do the same day as the day? Or is it just like a random day where they do it a week off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was funny when I was working in, in finance, I was doing cash flow and stuff like that. So, like, I'd always see the bonus numbers go uh, through before. So, everyone would be like, do you get the bonus numbers? Do you get the bonus numbers? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what each person or you No, like you would see, like, because the, their HR would give you um, the payroll numbers every two weeks, so then when the bonus was going through, it would be like exponentially higher, and they'd be like, how much, how much more was that? How much more that kind of thing? Not that you wouldn't really be able to tell who yeah. got what from that, but you would just know, like, all of a sudden, cash flow or uh, payroll went up like $4 million or something like that. But no, they've been doing it now. Um, they've been doing it the week of the Christmas party. And then as like a morale booster thing. And then um, usually like the third week of June or So like in between the two pay the paychecks and June. Yeah. Okay, my last one I got a quarterly one, which was pretty big, and then I got one from RBC in December. And then I got quickly in last week. Right. So yeah, it was kinda nice. Yeah. You know what that would get yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's been so cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Like I saw, I saw on the weather channel the other day, like a, like a track of like where the temperatures were compared to the average, and it was like the average at this time of year is usually like nine or ten or whatever, and all the days so far in March had been like one degree, two degrees. It's like so cold compared to what we used to. Like it was like snowy not that long ago. Yeah. Does it normally snow that much out the ridge? Um, not that just like Langley in yeah. Surrey, but yeah. well, actually, it's probably just like one day we were in New York City in Surrey, and yeah. it wasn't that bad. Yeah. And we drove home, and it was using a little ridge. It was so bad. Yeah. Usually it's opposite, but it was actually in this January. Yeah. That's how it was, but. Because it was like, I mean, we have a lot of snow in general, so it's kind of hard to tell, but like, I would never get that much snow. Oh, yeah. How about the cold then? Tell me your sky train. Or like, you get it and then be gone by the next day. Like, there was a couple of days when, it, when we had a lot, when it was really bad, like February or whatever. I, the buses weren't running, so I had to walk from the house to the train station. And all, like, you basically are walking along the highway because you can't, you could walk up like around the residential, but it would take like two or three times as long because it's not very direct. Um, so like you were like marching for like two, three feet of snow. It was, it was awful. Yeah. I think I did it twice and then I was like, I'm not doing this again. Where does your brother work um, He works at the city at SkyTrain, or at the state SkyTrain station. Like at the, yeah, the main office, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so he takes the third train in. Oh yeah, that's what you were saying. Yeah, and then he takes the second train in. Yeah, eight to four. Pretty much what we do. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. 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 No, it's just, it's annoying. That would be annoying because then, you're, like, if you worked where we work until four, then you go like ten minutes early and you're fine. But for him, he has to take the sky train from the stadium to uh, waterfront. So that takes an extra, that's like an extra like, ten minutes, like on when you factor in walking time and all that kind of stuff. So he has to be at like three thirty to take the first train. So it doesn't work out for him that often. This is the first. Yeah.